Super Idol the Charo. They'll make me do ten by each one for the Why Star Wars Outlaws is doomed. Oh lord, I've been seeing shit about Outlaws. I really did want that game to succeed, man. I'm just like, maybe it's one of those, you know, like, you know, people be hating the game and then it comes out good. It was not like that at all. Well, actually, pe people gave it, IGN gave it a 7 out of 10, okay? Um, it, it's, a, it's, no, it's not. From what I've seen from reviews and shit I've heard from people, it's not. It doesn't sound like a 7 out of 10 for me, especially from the gameplay clips I've seen. I haven't made any videos on it, but, you know, uh, shit. From what I saw, <laughs> oh, god damn. Uh-uh. Uh-uh, and I really wanted to like the game. I'm already going to like this right here. But I really want to like the game because I'm a Star Wars fan. So, I, you know, I like Star Wars. I, you know, but I don't. I don't like this. So let, let's see what happens. Star Wars Outlaws is coming out later this month and it's already <laughs> marked for death. Some people are roasting it, some people are praising it, but personally, quite frankly, I'm appalled. Appalled! Wait, really? Wait, wait, let me, um, yeah, it, it's like, I'm surprised it's really that mix because I watched Big Dan's gaming review of it. Let's turn up the volume. I watched his, his review of it. He was like, probably like the worst game I played this year. I'm like, oh shit. And he's a big fan of RPGs and shit, so I'm just like, huh. I, I I don't know why it's so, like, mixed, you know? Of, of course, reviewers and shit and, like, you know, streamers, YouTubers, and, like, commentary motherfuckers are gonna be negative about it. That's how they get their money and shit. That's how they get used, obviously. <laughs> I do that shit, too. Well, no, I, I'm honest about it, you know? <laughs> I say if, if I'm neutral or not, or I say if I like that shit, you know? Especially with Dragon Age. I'm saying, you know, I'm, I'm fucking, you already know I'm fucking trying to defend that motherfucker with my life. Goddamn. But also, the game didn't come out yet, so, you know, that's why I'm defending it. It's, like, my favorite series. But... It's just so much shit, bro. It's just so much shit. Like, just happening in, in terms of that game. Like, I'm... It's just so... It's so mixed. It's out of... Just it's very out of place. I think it's more mixed than Starfield, right? Starfield, it was... It's a 6 out of 10 game. This game is less than a 6 out of 10, in my opinion, for what I've seen. But I've seen people give it, like a seven or eight and i'm just like what the fuck bro oh, so that they would allegedly pay off all these creators and not me i'm not good enough to be flown out to ubisoft island you know what screw you and your trip to disneyland i didn't want to sweat my balls off wait what island. you know what screw you and your Ubisoft pays for influencers to travel to LA, visit Disneyland as part of Star Wars Outlaws. Oh lord. Or trip to Disneyland. Oh wow well, there's a borderlands oh they got oh my gosh bro. what the fuck is this Anyways, bro, they are, like, farming for content, bro. They got Borderlands and Assassin's Creed Shadows. I didn't want to sweat my balls off standing in line to get a picture with Mr. Many Mouse anyway. Gaming has become lame as hell, pimp. Not even the bribes are as good as they used to be. And speaking of lame, we have great value Lilo and Stitch. Starting with the AI. Gameplay for Star Wars Outlaws and Assassin's Creed Shadows was not only praised, but also highlighted the cutting edge capabilities of our game engine. <laughs> Oh my god. Ubisoft AI are very often touched with the tism, but now they are fully engulfed by the tism. Their chromosomes. This reminds me of um Redfall. Uh, you haven't heard that name in a while. Redfall. It, it, this is actually reminding me very, very much about Redfall. I mean like you know, people were, when I saw, like, some clips of it, at first people were a little excited for it, like, before the, the game footage came out, like, but then, like, six months before, so people were getting skeptical, but there was still, like, some hype towards the game, you know, and some, so I, I've even, uh, I remember Maddie plays, is like, he was hyped for the game, for, and what he played at the, um, like, I guess, like, the demo viewing when he played Redfall, it was, uh, he said it was, like, not that bad it wasn't that bad you know he actually somewhat enjoyed it so he was actually like very uh, not very positive but like positive about the game and when it came closer to launch he was getting he was a little more neutral you know yeah but you know still trying to op be optimistic and shit then when it came out then yeah pretty much like this the, the ai is pretty much the same i played redfall for like a little bit too like the first fucking i think like an hour <laughs> can't do more than that yeah it's, it's <laughs> i couldn't do more than that but this very much reminds me of um redfall in terms of um 
uh, in terms of like marketing and shit and just like you know pr some praise of the game you know not too much but you know I, I feel like it's worse here because the, the fucking main character is um you know yeah the whole thing with the main character being like average she's not ugly but average you know Zark under C E. Everything they do is 10 seconds too late and comes at half the speed. One of the funniest things I've seen them do in multiple videos now is they run closer to you, then they reach for their secondary, but it takes so long for them to draw their secondary that it's too late. Because much old man Randy Savage already bubbled them, huh? <laughs> IGN, does that feel like the blaster <laughs> battles have stakes? The blaster battles felt like they had meaningful stakes. <laughs> Thanks, IGN. <laughs> oh my this God. Clip. Does this look like the blaster battles have stakes, PC gamer? Jesus Christ, it looks like I caught you at... What the fuck? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> God damn. No, I'm not editing that out. I'm too lazy to edit this shit. Every penis in Assassin's Creed Odyssey braided. Who, 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 who made that article? August, oh, that was made this year? What? You know what? I did see some pretty good ones when I was playing a couple weeks ago. I kind of dropped the game because I got too bored. It reminded me of Valhalla. I played Valhalla first. Um, it's kind of a mistake, you know. Um, anyways, I I'm trying to get back into Odyssey, but it's, it's hard, bro. It's hard. Like I'm trying to finish out the game. Anyways, and they're saying Odyssey is better than Valhalla. It probably is, but I played Valhalla first. And, you know, I, I just, you know. Oh. <sighs> at a bad time i'll come back later these ai just crave the great beyond and i don't blame them i would too if i were trapped in the one space game without busty alien women or a second space game without busty alien women and that brings me to my next what the, whoa what the fuck was that budget cuts hot alien women are a cornerstone of space entertainment the pillars if you will why else would we reach for the stores if we were damn sure that there were three breasted women on the other side you ever think of that i didn't just strap myself to a giant dick shaped Maltov cocktail just so I can see a regular old set of two. And another thing, I don't want to hear that face scanning is hard excuse either. They scanned in that ginger from Shameless. P yeah, what the hell? It looks exactly like him. Pixel perfect, freckles and all. But then when it came time to scan this actress's face in, all of a sudden we're using the NBA 2K face scanner. I like the cutting edge capabilities of our game engine. Don't even get me started on that little fucking knockoff stitch, that little counterfeit. I could talk about this for the next 20 minutes, but this this game's like fitting six pounds of shit into a three pound bag, all right? So we're just gonna have to keep moving. While we're talking about crap though, let's talk about this ship combat. Somehow this looks worse than Star Save me. This is out. Wait, wait, what the fuck was that? That was outlaw game. I thought it was old gameplay. I'm being dead ass serious. I thought this is some shit for I don't know, maybe like Battlefront. Crap, though. Let's talk about this ship Dog. Somehow this looks. Yeah, like right here. I was like, what? It's worse than Starfield. Save me, Todd Howard. This. <laughs> yeah. This hell. Save me, Todd Howard. It's better than all beef. Saturday at 7 p.m. EST as I live stream Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball. Ubisoft's new slogan should be Ubisoft. We'll show you that it can get worse. Look, we even made our logo worse. Save me, Todd Howard. Speaking of things getting worse, this game is chock full of bullet sponges. Look at this. It takes four body shots to kill an enemy, and that's not just on the stormtroopers. You go shoot a guy wearing cloth, and he'll tank three shots to the chest. Fuck you. Fuck your lasers. My boy was wearing a car. But now that sloth like punch to the face and it's game over. And I can it's actually live with insane. that in a game where you have two other primaries that actually do damage. But in Outlaws, this is the only permanent weapon you get. And every other gun is just a pickup that comes with one mag. I like it, the cutting edge capabilities of our game engine. And guess what? I can even make that hog wash work. But you bet your bottom bitch, that better be one hell of a gun. And not a slow ass basic blaster that shoots 10 seconds of disappointment and then needs to cool down. And it's too close to home. It's very clear that they want you to stealth. So like, can you? like upgrade it or something like you know in wukong you only got the staff but like you can do a lot of shit with the staff you know i don't think that's the the case here maybe it is but it's probably just nothing but then look at these takedowns these have the speed and form of a chunky 70 year old steven seagal look at that fat roll right there she just like turned him down to the ground that wasn't even like a yeah that was just fucking she just pushed them to the ground, you know. That's some like that, that's some Sky Jackson shit. <laughs> Tore a goal away from an Eastern European Absolutely nothing. to do the mocap. It's kind of hard to describe, but they just kind of have that same look of a half-assed hit met with a stuntman that's doing his absolute damnedest to pick. 
that same look of a half-assed hit met with a stuntman that's doing his absolute damn. You know, she would. That that that, that is so like fuck it. That could at least at least been like a like a, a knife or some shit. Even with the armor, maybe it would have been more believable. But whole you trying to you're just doing this to the armor. You're just doing it. That's that's. He probably doesn't feel that shit. I mean, he shouldn't. He shouldn't feel that shit. I mean, yeah, okay, maybe you, like, trip him up, but, like, that, he shouldn't fucking die after that. What the hell? ...just to pay his rent this month. Many people are calling these the worst takedowns Ubisoft's ever done, but don't be dramatic, all right? Show a little respect. If you had seen the Kavera takedowns from Wildlands, then you would know that these are... <laughs> what the f... <laughs> She, she was like, she was like taking his fucking temperature with his her, with her fucking arm, bro. What the, the fuck? The second worst takedowns that Ubisoft has ever done. Look at these Popeye punches. She reaches back into the prehistoric era to wipe. Doesn't even touch him. These things up. And in some of these takedowns, they go full Gollum and forget the punch sound effect. <laughs> <laughs> Doing space marine takedown just without the flood of blood that makes it look like they just killed the Kool Aid man. Why the hell am I still? Is that um? Is that? Is that Space Marine? I didn't play that shit yet. Did it come out? Did it just come out? Yeah, I was interested in playing this shit. If this is it. If it isn't, I, I'm still interested in this shit. Whatever the fuck it's called. Yeah, I want to play Space Marine shit. I, I don't know when that comes out. Flood of blood that makes it look like they just killed the Kool -Aid, it could be man. Gears. I don't, know. I don't think that's Gears. I don't think it's Gears. I ain't played Gears in a while. So, <laughs> it's been a while, bro. Could be edging the Space Marine too, oh, shit, it is right now speaking of getting pounded let's talk about the reputation system Ooh, i'm about to make a name for myself here yeah. the reputation system in this game looks like a ball of yarn it's just something to keep you busy and give you the illusion that your choices matter but in reality nothing you do has major consequences don't believe dragon age inquisition my visions don't trust the foresight and foreskin of the mighty seven eye well man it's not as you still got more you know in terms of, yeah, you're still doing more in Inquisition than most games. But, but compared to, like, Origins or some shit, uh, you don't get a lot of choices, you know. Yeah. Blake, well, I started reading words recently, so check out some random shit I found in an article. Ubisoft has already confirmed my visions. Read it and wait. Over ten years ago in Dragon Age Origins, you would... A man of culture. A man of culture. Don't have the footage. We'll come. Oh, Lord. Okay. Fair enough. It's Morgan. Oh, Morgan looks fucking fire in Velgard. Not gonna lie. All right. Anyways. Would accidentally erase an entire group of people because you. I'm looking through a cutscene. Hear your negative rep. You would accidentally erase an entire group of people because you button mashed through a cutscene. Hear your negative reputation makes it so you can't freely walk through cities. Dur That's true. You know, you go to fucking, um, I mean, spoiler alert, but I mean, this game been out for, like, over a decade. Uh, it, it's like, I don't even know, I mean, I don't know what he's talking about, and this one, this shit's wild, right? Uh, where was it? This was in the Hinterlands, it was, um, ah, what the fuck is that village? Redcliffe, Redcliffe. Yeah, you can completely, like, just ignore Redcliffe and they'll all die. Yeah, they'll all die. Um shit it's actually it's, it's fucking insane but yeah that's just how it is in origins god damn um still in all the dragon age games the choices are like pretty good but you in in origins holy shit man insane during some main missions without getting caught what happens when you get caught you get escorted out to the front gate nope you can't shoot them you're in a city and from everything i've heard you can't pull your gun out in cities and in fact the stormtroopers will arrest you for being annoying highlighted the cutting edge capabilities of our game engine this truly is the second coming of Gollum. cool notoriety yeah at least in starfield i mean you can take that bitch out you know and you can shoot and um you know you can shoot at people too in the, the fucking cities you know but i mean you're gonna get arrested but at least you have the choice to kill these niggas right you know <laughs> it might be in 480p but you got the choice system though but if i can't shoot civilians pull out my gun in cities or steal civilians doesn't let you kill or steal from friendly civilians and just like that my ops gta in space have been dashed yeah i mean you you'd have to have like a fucking mod for that shit you, you'd have to like is there a Starfield mod out like this? I think there is. Like GTA type. I don't know. Somebody probably already made it.
in vehicles. How the hell am I supposed to trigger it? I can't wait to find out. Ubisoft, you beautiful Bukaki slop. Even though Outlaws looks like the exclusive rights lifted, and you guys just cranked out some bullshit as fast as you could. I'm willing to lose. What? Looks like the exclusive. EA no longer has exclusive rights to. Oh. Rights lifted and you guys just cranked out some bullshit as fast as you could. I'm willing to leave all that behind if you are. For the low, low price of $10,000. For $10,000, I will be unburdened by what has been. I could find 10,000 reasons to love this game for that kind of money, in my honest opinion, of course. I promise you, when they give me that $10,000 and I schedule the next $10,000, I'll tell them. <laughs> Listen, I, I think um Shadows, uh, I, I'm trying to. Gonna, Trying to go to what the fuck type of English. Well, no, I talk like that still sometimes. I probably, you know. But I, I think, um, I think Shadows will be a mid game. You know, just like Starfield mid game. Um, just like Dragon's Dogma Two. Well, Dragon's Dogma Two is a little bit lower for me. Honestly, Starfield, I, I'll place it lower. I'm tired of that fetch quest shit. You know, the yeah, super big open world. But I mean, just like on that level, it just it won't be great. It'll just be mid. Damn. Damn. No, I, no, I want that all in quarters. I'm going straight to the jiggle joint after this. I'm going to make it hail up in there. I'll tell them, listen here, buddy. The truth <laughs> can't inspire. I'm only doing this if I can put in the contract that I'm allowed to, make, to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth. You don't make those dollar bills. It's going to travel light. Here's a little sample of what you can expect. You ready? Look at that grass swing. God, that is some good grass. While we're looking at this amazing God, grass, grass, I want to offer my unreal. utmost honesty for the low price of ten thousand dollars. What the fuck, God, that grass is just too unreal. What the fuck is going on? Shadows, love me some shadows. Fuck history. I've always God, that said that. Grass World is too tanks. unreal. War thunder. Now rock a blade point. Bro, did you see Definitely that? looking at the the grass. Yes. Grass just sway. Raid shadow legends. The new dragon God, that age. Grass is but too unreal. But even further. See if I give a damn. God, that grass is just too unreal. Diablo four DLC. I'll puff puff pass that titty milk with you guys. But that shit was still insane. God, that grass is just too unreal. Star Wars Outlaws is coming out. Well, that was. <laughs> yo, yo. <laughs> I'm still. This this fucking photo is actually insane. She's not ugly at all. I, I will. She's just average. And then she also just doesn't look like the fucking actor. Which I mean, I I don't understand why they um didn't make it like the actor. Cause nowadays, I mean, it's sure it's like whatever, you know. Cause you you got like people doing voice acting for cartoons and shit. And, you know, man, it's like a person that's completely different. You know, not even like the same fucking ethnicity and shit. But in games and shit, I, I mean, it's just like it's kind of normal now to you know, fucking was it called like scan the face of the actor or some shit, or just like make them as close to the actor as possible but they didn't do it here and um yeah yeah i mean but there's, there's some reasons why they didn't most likely you know some most likely reasons why they didn't but anyways w video from fleekazoid um i pretty much i mean i agree with everything he said um I, the AI looks like the most fucking, um, I guess, annoying thing in the game from what I heard. Especially from other reviewers and shit. And they're saying, like, the game is really, like, there's, like, a lot of sneaking around and shit. And you're just doing, like, like little heist all the time, you know. And the, the story is, like, eh, you know, meh. You know, you're just doing quests for, like, a criminal organization. Or just, like, you, you know, yeah, it's just, like... <sighs> that's pretty much it that's how it feels <laughs> that's how it feels uh seriously Vo, f those guys for not giving fleek a private jet an invitation to their shitty ass game highlighted the cutting edge capabilities of our game <laughs> god that grass is just too unreal <laughs> oh man uh, they only invite who they think will bow down to their bullshit. Yeah. I mean, but even so, I mean, I guess for Ubisoft, yeah, it's different. Bethesda, um, in terms of, like, Todd Howard and shit, like, Todd Howard, like, he watches Maddie plays his, um, videos and shit, and he, he actually loves the criticism and stuff, like, he actually likes his channel. Um, and, you know, he, and Maddie gets invited to shit. No, <laughs> I'm surprised. 
<laughs> I'm surprised. Uh, what was this shit that I, I just watched somebody's video and they were like criticizing the game. I don't know what, what was it? It might have been Outlaws and it might have been Big Dan Gaming. But anyway, yeah, I'd be like, <laughs> some people are like fucking shitting on the game now and stuff and uh, shit. I'd be surprised if these guys get another fucking invite, not gonna lie. You know, but, you know, in terms of, like, Todd Howard and shit, uh, I, I, I didn't see, um, I didn't see, what's his name, Maddie's review yet. I'm trying to look at it on the right, but, yeah, I didn't see it. We will see. <laughs> we'll see if he gets another fucking Ubisoft game coming out on his fucking channel. If it's been a year, then, you know, it's a GG, it's a wrap. But, yeah. It's insane how they didn't give Fleek a fucking um, review quote. He's pretty big, too. Like, you know. I mean, he's maybe not as big as like everybody, but he pretty big, bro. He pretty cool. I like Fleek, bro. I like Freak. Freak. <laughs> Alright, but anyways. Yeah, that's it. Uh, comments are just, yeah, Yeah, comments are mid. We're not gonna go through them like last time. I was trying to look around for, like, some good comments. But, I mean, at this point, it's like, meh. Meh. But, um... I'm not gonna play the fucking game, obviously. I'm not spending my money on this fuck-ass game, bro. The only Ubisoft shit I will spend my money on is, um, possibly Assassin's Creed Shadows, but, like, other than that, like, I, I mean, even for that, I'm gonna look at reviews before I buy the game. Like, I'm probably gonna wait, like, weeks before, maybe a month before to, like, play the fucking game just to make sure I'm, like, gonna fucking enjoy it, you know? Uh, cause, uh, the last couple games, uh... I mean, it gave Mirage, like, an 8 out of 10. I, I don't know how I feel. I didn't play Mirage yet. I probably will never. I don't know. But, I mean, we'll see. I don't know. We'll see. But, W Video Fleek, um, L Game, shitty game. I, I really did want this game to be, like, really good. I'm not gonna lie. Just, like, with Redfall. Uh, like, good concepts, you know, or possible possible good concepts but they didn't execute it well they fucked up <laughs> once again i'm so tired he's like it's getting a little bit better now we got some good games coming out. we got doom we got fucking space marine um we got all these fucking other games but that look pretty good but I, i'm just like I, i'm tired of like getting fucking shitty ass games you know and then like them just ruining fucking ips and shit but anyways that's it i'm not editing this video Fuck that shit. I'ma just add my intro and outro. Fuck that shit. Shot at a black man and took his shoes. Customize my AR like a Black Ops 2. Just scammed a white kid out of some gorilla glue. I don't wanna fuck this bitch. She smell like poo poo.